Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I am just gonna explain how can you build your own chatbot with the help of an MLTK module of Python in just 10 lines of code. So the prerequisite to just follow along with this video is you have to have an NLTK module installed on your machine and if 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 NLTK module is not installed on your machine I have my one of the video where I just uh, explain how can you just set up the complete NLTK module with all the packages in the collection and I will provide the link of that into the video in the description below. So let's quickly jump into the demo part and see how we can build our first chatbot but just 10 lines of code right so let me first check the which version of NLTK I'm running into okay so to get that uh, I have imported NLTK then I can just port double underscore words on it underscore and okay this is 3.4 so I think we are good now to just build the chatbot so the very first thing is what is chatbot chatbot is something where you can just you know interact with the computer and uh, if it is it is pretty much like you know just chatting on any other social media right but here you will not be on the other hand you will not be having a person who is chatting with you but you know there would be a computer who is already have all the information to respond on whatever the you know the conversation or discussion you are going to do so let's quickly jump into the demo part and see how we can build our first chatbot in just 10 lines of code right so the very first thing which you have to do is you have to just import one of the module of NLTK which is chat and then followed by util and it has a chat class okay and it has one reflection which is dictionary in a python i just gonna explain you uh, let me just first create that and then i'm just gonna explain you how the chat looks like and what is the reflection by going inside the actual source code of this right and then what I'm going to do is, this is my first line and the second line is, what I have to do is I have to just create a pairs and pairs is nothing but it's just any variable which you have and here what you need to do is you need to just give a regular expression of your, of your sentence what you know the person who wants to interact with chatbot is going to you know uh, provide it to you. So for that what you have to do is you have to create a list and inside that list what you have to do you have to create another list and that list you will be having a regular expression first okay and in regular expression you can just put whatever the sentence you feel like uh, you know whoever is interacting with chatbot is going to type right so then my name is let's say and I just wanted to put asterisk and this is just a regular expression so it means that whatever you are going to just put after your my name is then what you have to do is you have to have standard and then you have to have uh, another uh, this one I think uh, you have to have first okay for this and and so you are expecting that my name is followed by the name of the person who is going to interact it and to just refer that value you have to give person one hello and then I just wanted to go uh, let's say this and I just wanted to ask how are you doing today okay so this is my second list okay so uh, my response is in a list uh, but my input is a uh, first element and for that why I am having a list because we can have a multiple values which is going to be randomly picked but right now I am just giving only one sentence so that we will always be getting this deterministic behavior that whenever somebody is writing a my name is something then you will always get that response back right now what you have to do is so we have this uh, let me just put this up there so that I can easily understand what's going on here. This is my response, okay, and this is my first. This is my parent list then inside that I have a list where I have my input and that for input against I have another list which contains you know the multiple output but right now we have only one output right. So this is what okay so now syntax perspective it looks good 
crazy if I just bring all these stuff in this one line because I just wanted to reduce the number of lines to just make sure that I will be covering this in less than 10 lines okay because next thing what we are going to do is once you understand the concept we just going to put everything in one file and that you want to import it right now the next thing is what we have to do is now we have to define a let's say I want to do the uh, I want to have one no method name let's say first check bot and here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give a print statement let's say which would be prompting when you are going to run this I am first check okay and then uh, you can just put another print statement if you want to that's what we have to do now and then what you have to do is you have to create a chatbot object by utilizing a chat class and this chat class requires two parameters one is going to be a pairs and another one is going to be a reflection i'm just going to explain in a bit what exactly the reflection is you will get to know how does it look like and then you have to create a chatbot the there is one method called onwards which you have to call here and then we are done how many lines seven lines why if name is equals to this is a read um, python if you are going to call this program the name is going to be main and what i'm going to do is i just want it to call this first check method So that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like we have a ten line of code. Let me just save it. And if I haven't made any mistake, then we should be having less say. Check. Okay. So let's see if I run it. What's gonna happen? If I haven't made any mistake, then we should be. Oh, now it's good, right? Hi, I am your first chatbot built over the NLTK. There is a slash mistake over there. But leave it. If I just type my name is Abhishek, what are we going to see? Ah, hello Abhishek, we are done, right? Now, the next thing is, if I just put quick, nothing is happening, we are getting done. Why? Because we haven't put it uh, the way that it should expect it quick, right? So now, you are done. And this is what, you know, you can do in just 10 lines of code. Now, the next thing which I'm going to explain is, what is the reflection and what is you know the chat right so wherever you have your python installed you can just go there go inside the lib then you have a site packages okay inside the site packages you will see the nltk module go inside that and after nltk we have imported this chat and inside chat you will see this util file okay in that util file you have this reflection which is my dictionary it has you know this is known as input and this is known as output maybe in my next video where i will be just uh, explaining you a more advanced chatbot where you know the machine learning will be involved in just creating a response because right now we are just hard coding everything in right so here we have this chat class for which we were creating an object and if you will see to create a constructor we have to have passed two parameters we are a reflection and that was the reason we have passed two parameter which you can see on my screen and then the next thing is we have this respond. I'm not worried about this for now. This is the converse which we were calling, right? And here, if you will see that, this is what we have an input, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this more, uh, you know, the more, um, this kind of a more real time, you know, the implementation of this. And we have already built our a chat, first chatbot in just 10 lines of code. Now, just to, so what I have done is I have just created a one file where I just put it, you know, as, as, uh, you know the uh, now by now you know the structure right so i don't need to just explain you again because i was thinking that i will be explaining through this particular example but now you know how the how you need to structure your uh, you know the input and the response so i have already created this and i just put it this in one of the files so let me just save it uh, let's save this file and what i'm going to do is i'm just a setting this as a pre-web file so this file only has this response pair and equal to this response pair we have this list okay where we have some bunch of input and output you can also create i will be just providing this into the description below for your reference you can just take that out 
Now what I have to do, the another changes which I have to made here is, rather than you know hard coding this, I can just import the Python file where I have my input and responses. So for that, what I can do is, I can just put from, and I need to just go to the folder where we have uh, our Python module where because there I have just saved this input output response file. So this is my tech assistance, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in from this and I want to import the variable inside this file and if I just open this, just see this is my response pair, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just importing this response as pairs so that I don't need to change this but you can just give any name whatever the name you want to give, right? So now what is going to happen is it is just going to put this and then one more thing which I wanted to say or do is to make it more real, to give a more real time feel, what you can do is I can assist you make your carry choice and okay now if I run it let's see what's gonna happen if, oh yeah we are good right now if I just put my name is Abhishek okay so I'm just getting hello Abhishek how are you today right why I'm getting so right let's see our, our file my name is whatever the name you're gonna give it is going to respond hello and this first person one is getting the place with my name whatever the name i'm gonna give and how are you today and then it is saying what if i just say that i'm fine this dot aspect means whatever the value i'm gonna give let's see what happens i'm fine good to know that you're fine is there anything i can help you with yep so here it is picking this particular sentence right what happens if i just type this command again Let's see whether I'm gonna get you know the next no and somehow it's doesn't look I was thinking that in the second time I should get this but some, it's not happening but the other thing which I wanted to do is let's say I want to right so I want to make my carrier in industry let's see what I'm gonna get so it is saying you have to choose one of the field out of following and develop a test and so what I have done is if you will see in this I want, this is again a rival expression, start the sentence with I want. In the response is you have to choose one of the role out of this, then the blah blah blah, blah and then you have to enter your choice. This is what we're gonna see, right? And if I just put developer as one of the choice developer role I'm looking for, then what? Why do you think you are so sure to take up the role developer role as it is required a lot of effort to put in, right? So this is also coming from here, right? And if I just put that as technology has potential to solve world's problems with the combination of, let's say, combination of science and, you know, scientists and all, whatever you want to give. I am not yet fully operational. Why it is? Oh, because I just, this is the problem which I made. Let me just copy this sentence again and let me just put it here and let me just make some change in the statement. Why it is not recognizing? Uh, this is also have one uh, logic which I wanted to explain and how can I do that? This has doesn't have a space. Right now it is very kind of like a hard coded. Your intention is to solve, right? Why it was not picking up? Because if you will see this, I have just put this as technology has potential. After that, here there has to be a space, and that's the reason it was not able to pick that up, right? And whenever you know it doesn't find any kind of you know the regular expression of the sentence you are typing is not matching with the rules which you have defined here, it is always come down here where we have nothing, and it always says that I am not yet fully operational. Please reach out to us. Yep. Now, the other thing is, similarly, you can just continue and you can just create your, uh, you know, the uh, your input and output as a response very intelligent based on and for what context you are creating your chatbot. The other thing is, you can see this space and for that, what we can do is, if I just wanted to make it more, you know, uh, more user friendly, uh, this will actually give you, if you want to, uh, you know, change whatever the default uh, NLTK module is providing, if you want to change something in that. What you can do is you can just come down to the NLTK module, okay, 
and if I just come down here and live site packages okay and then if I just go to the NLTK folder let's see what we're gonna get here and we have chat and then we have util which is we are have utilizing here and if you just come down here we have this and what I can do is rather than giving this I can just give first chatbot let me just give it is here let's see what happens and if I run the same code before that let me just quit this bye you have a nice day ahead and take care see you soon why it is happening because if I just go to the this part I just put this quit and for quit this is what the uh, sentence it should suppose to return and if you will just see the code which we have modified right away and you will see that uh, if there is a quit then it is going to be actually quitting right so logic right so this is what uh, now since we have changed that util and let me just run this same again and let's see what's gonna happen this time our prompt would not be a single C now we got this chatbot right so if I just put a chatbot let's say my name is Abhishek okay I'm fine okay um, what profile are you looking for I want to be a developer it's pretty much the same right you can just have a fun with it and you can just play and you can do whatever you want to do it right make sure if you have and now it's completely up to you how in which context you are creating your chatbot based on that you have to collect the data and you have to put your input and output you can modify the reflection as well which we have in a util file this also get utilized you know uh, there are a lot of you know the default packages as well which NLTK has built for us like Lisa and there are a few more based on the context they have created a very very good uh, input file you can always look at it for that you just go to the uh, NLTK documentation there is a very good documentation for that right so that's it from my side for this particular video if you really enjoy this video as and you, if you really like it please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed for my channel and if you feel that these kind of uh, you know videos can help your friends and your, please feel free to share with them as well and as always uh, stay healthy keep learning a new stuff and thanks for watching this positive